Hello there, Zippy Army. I'm your leader, Zippy, and I'm trying something very new today. So I've been watching a bunch of these commentary videos on YouTube, and then I just kind of thought to myself, I'm like, you know what? Yes! 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 So I got my microphone, my Mountain Dew, my Doritos, and I thought of a story that I should tell you guys. Like, seriously, I even used code Keem while thinking of an idea. That's how much I love you guys. Like, you, you, I, you deserve it. You're welcome, give me a kiss. Before I start telling my story, I wanted to apologize and explain for my inactivity on YouTube lately. Now I uploaded a video titled, I Failed My Own Challenge, where I showed my reaction as well as the reaction of my friend to the new year. Now that in and of itself isn't that all that bad. I mean, I was just messing around and decided to show the video my friend sent to me as well as kind of make fun of the whole thing. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because I made a mistake when I edited that video where I added something that was completely inappropriate for my audience. I got some serious backlash from a bunch of viewers and I removed the video as a result. In my free time, I went back and I removed the problem and then I re-uploaded it so you can go watch it now and I'll put a link to the description so you can go see it if you haven't already. But basically this whole incident led to me taking time off from YouTube to sort all this out and I've since resolved the whole issue and I should be back to normal now. I'm still working on those videos I recorded in England, but I want to do this video maybe some more first so I can ease back into YouTube again. Alright, enough serious stuff. Now for story time with Zippy. Ladies and gentlemen, turn the lights down low and shut your faces, for I have an awesome story to tell you all. So it all started back when I was like 5 or 6 years old. My mom arranged for me to be evaluated so that I could begin school. So my mom took me to be tested, not, not that kind of testing. Anyway, and I walked into the building and I was like extremely disappointed. It was terrible. Like seriously, the place looked like a building out of a horror movie that somebody just went in and put a bunch of lights in a PA system. It was, it was bad. It was just so gray and ew, ew. It was so nasty, honey badger. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? So little Daniel stood at the entrance of the school and just thought about what I could do. And even at that age, I had my devious wit and knowledge, so much that I formulated a plot to make sure I didn't have to attend the school while not ending up in jail and shot. <laughs> That's a reference nobody's gonna get. But anyway, so when it came time for me to get my test, I decided to purposely sound like an absolute idiot during my evaluation, like, to purposely make it so I didn't have to go to this terrible school. So by the time I was called in to be tested, I had already made up my mind. I can't remember any of the questions she asked me other than this one that still this day makes me laugh really hard. So basically I forgot about my entire plan while I was taking this test until the very end where I began to panic because I realized I hadn't said anything really stupid. So when she asked me the, probably the most simple question ever, I responded with the dumbest thing. I mean, she asked me one of the basic questions that you ask a kid who's being tested for mental disabilities. She looked at me and she asked, what is your favorite animal? And I responded with, believe it or not, the zoo. <laughs> not one animal. The entire flippin' zoo. Man, I was so serious when I said it too. Like, I wasn't joking. I looked at her and I said the zoo with a straight face. I just love animals so much. They're so beautiful. So basically, I was immediately denied in the school and I was kind of proud of myself. Yo, what the heck was wrong with me? I failed the easiest test of my life and I was happy for some reason. I honestly have no idea how she kept a straight face when I answered the question. She even asked me again, and I said the same exact thing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sound like the biggest jerk ever, but if I were the woman, I would have just lost it. I would have started laughing so hard. I mean, the kid would get upset and I'd get fired, but it'd be worth it, I guess. What do you think? Would it be worth getting fired over? Comment down below. So, after all this happened, apparently, according to my mom, that wasn't actually a school, and it was just a different building they used to test kits, so... Um, I got myself denied into a school that could have been pretty cool, but I guess I'll never know. Ugh, if only I had given her my real answer. Giraffes. <laughs> I just love giraffes so much. Oh, just give me a giraffe. I want one, please. Okay, so I have no idea what just happened there. I took a minute and I calmed down. I look at some pictures of some giraffes and I'm okay. But anyway, my name is Zippy and I salute you all. Make sure to join the Zippy Army by subscribing. Also, if you like this video, you get a promotion and a second serving at dinner. Bubba's making spicy slop tonight and it'll clean you right out. This video has been sponsored by Bubba's Spicy Slop. Use code KEEM to get 10% off your next slop. I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah.